Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, juveniles and crocodiles. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Jeff. This video is gonna be a different one. You know, I was thinking that this video was going to be a deep dive into one stock. Somebody who watched one of my videos wrote in the comments, they asked me to do kind of an in-depth look at one of the small cap stocks that I had mentioned. And I was about to do that. And I, I even made a thumbnail for the video with the stegosaurus on it and everything. And I got pretty excited in the research process just last night. I was doing a lot of reading about the company. And I listened to the fourth quarter earnings call with the CEO, the CFO. I started to really understand what it means to research a company. Most of the companies that I've invested in have been like really big companies ones that you've heard about, whether it's like Berkshire Hathaway or Amazon or something like that, where you already know about the CEO, you know about the products. You know. But this is a company that's a small, small company, and I didn't know a lot about it. And it was actually kind of magical. You had figured something out that you actually discovered something through your diligence, your tenacity, and your hard work that opened your eyes a little brighter. And I was like, oh, oh, this is a company I have confidence in. And so, you know, I had literally pages of notes. I, they're over there. They're over there somewhere. I have, took like eight to 10 pages of notes. It was a script I was developing so I could share it with you guys. And then something happened. So last night, after I had prepared all this material for you guys, I was on YouTube and I was, you know, scrolling through and I saw a video about Berkshire Hathaway's latest letter to shareholders that had just been released this weekend, yesterday. And I went, oh, I, I got to read that. Because in case you don't know, this annual letter to shareholders that Warren Buffett writes every year, the best education you can get about stock investing. I read it and that's what changed things. You know, there's this expression, if I have seen farther than others, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. That's attributed to Isaac Newton. And, you know, I would say everything that I know about investing, it's because standing on the shoulders of people like Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, Peter Lynch, and Jim Simons. These are people who have actually changed the way that I think and act when it comes to learning about investing and about being decisive and buying stocks. And something that Warren Buffett said changed everything last night. He was talking about his sister, her name's Birdie, and she has invested on her own. In addition to owning some shares of Berkshire Hathaway, she has invested in stocks on her own and also into one mutual fund. And she's done really, really well. Buffett spent some time explaining what a smart woman his sister is. And he also said she is sensible, very sensible. Instinctively knowing that pundits should always be ignored. And so what he meant by pundits is, you know, when you go on CNBC and you see Kramer and you see other people talking and they claim to know like everything about every subject, she knows enough to ignore them. But I was thinking about, you know, what happens when somebody watches one of my videos and hears me talk about a specific stock. Talking about specific stocks is probably not the best thing to do because one thing is it's like spoon feeding a viewer information about a company. Like here, you didn't have the time or the desire to, you know, do a few internet searches on your own and listen to the earnings call. So let me tell you what I found. And so here's what Buffett wrote in this annual report. So he said she's sensible, very sensible, instinctively knowing that pundits should always be ignored. After all, if she could reliably predict tomorrow's winners, would she freely share her valuable insights and thereby increase competitive buying? Think about that for a minute. If she could predict a stock that was going to go up tomorrow, would she tell all these other people so that they could go and buy it and drive the price higher? That would be like finding gold and then handing a map to the neighbors 
showing its location. So this is kind of, you know, what switched my brain here from thinking, hey, I'm going to make a deep dive video about this company that I've spent like literally hours reading about, listening to earnings call, and then writing this script. And as this all kind of percolated in my brain, I went, oh, yes, this makes sense. But then I thought, yeah, it, it would be it would be crazy in a way to broadcast this to hundreds of people or thousands of people through YouTube land if I'm actually enthusiastic enough about investing in this company that I plan to buy more. So anyways, I just wanted to share this with you guys. And also I wanted to share the Stegosaurus image because I worked on that. I was very proud of that. And I thought, hey, even if I don't do a video about that particular company. So when I read that shareholder letter by Warren Buffett, I had the choice. I can either listen to it, think about it, and then realize that he's speaking the truth, or ignore it and go out and make a video and blab about this company. I want you guys to understand the excitement and the energy that I got learning about this company on my own and finding something with my own two eyes that made it mine. And that's really different than somebody on YouTube giving you a fish, giving you like the name of a company and its ticker and why they think it's a great investment. I'm interested to hear your opinion on it. You may agree with me, you may not. Maybe you have some other ideas. I think there are ways that I can add value to your lives by maybe teaching you what I do or kind of the process that I've used. I don't think you can really make a roadmap and then just show everybody if you do one, two, three in this order, then you're going to have success. I mean, if it were that easy to get insanely rich, then everybody would do it. So I think that somehow there's a way to share in a way that's useful to you guys and does not violate the truth that Warren Buffett shared in the Berkshire Hathaway letter to shareholders. If you haven't read it yet, I highly recommend it. Just Google Berkshire Hathaway annual report. It's online, it's free, it's a PDF. You download it and you read it. It doesn't take a long time. And I think the knowledge, the wisdom that you can get from that reading that very short letter to shareholders, especially if you do this over the course of the next several years, it's just, it's just priceless information. So thanks for watching this video. I know it was a different one. Write down below any ideas or thoughts that you have about this. I really value your opinions and it always generates an interesting dialogue. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.